what a week. Where to even begin? How about Canada Day and another Trudeauian slip? We may live in British Columbia, Yukon, the Northwest Territories, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Nunavut, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, or Newfoundland and Labrador. Seems once again Trudeau has proven that his Canada doesn't include Alberta. Maybe that's why he's not going to bother showing up for the Calgary Stampede this year. And if the embarrassment of that slip-up wasn't enough, Trudeau did his best to inflate his ego as the Grand Master of Party Central known as Parliament Hill on Canada Day. To the hundreds of thousands here on the hill coming together in our nation's capital, thank you for being here. That's odd because after waiting up to eight hours in lineups to get onto the hill, the Globe and Mail reports there were only 36,000 people for the evening celebrations, which was near capacity, but only 25,000 for the daytime show. And finally, while Justin Trudeau was over in Ireland, information surfaced that he was ready to fork over $10.5 million to convicted terrorist and admitted murderer Omar Khadr and offer an apology on behalf of the government. Trudeau's response? To avoid the question and shift the focus to his favourite topic, socks. Meanwhile, as the PM was busy with his international photo ops, Conservative Party leader Andrew Scheer was busy himself, meeting and speaking with Atlantic Canadians, hearing directly from them their concerns, all while discovering the beauty and hospitality of the East Coast of our great country. More to come next week.